Welcome back everyone to Punny Plays the Champion, and as you can see, I'm not in Forkhel. I have decided to come back here to Greengris to finish off on my class quest. Now you're saying, wait a minute, how am I getting the components for this? It so happens that I did manage to get a little help from the auction house between the episodes, and all I have left are the other ten ward claws which are easily gotten in this area. I figured before going out we might as well turn in some of these quests I got last time. Hail friends and well met. Oh, what do you bring me? It is as I feared. Our latest delivery from Rivendell fell prey to the worms of Penderegian. Alright, well that's a problem. With one delivery lost and the worms on the rise, we need your help. It is unlikely that all of the delivery is completely lost. If you find any more goods for the delivery, please bring them back to me. Alright, I'll see if I can find some crates. And I also killed some worms for you. Hail friends, and well oh, met. well done. Yeah, thank you. Will you stay a moment? I cannot but thank you enough for dealing with the worms that threatened our supplies in Rivendell, but I have another task for you. Of course, they always do. To the north is Penderegian, is in the east. There is a small clump of large hills. On the north side of the hills, there is a series of dens of worms to use to raise their young. It is here that you will find uh, Brunach. The Lord of the Worms of Penderegian. Yeah, I know, I know. You want me to draw him out and kill him, right? As always. Okay. So, what else do we find around here? Oh. Hello there. I know I had a quest for you somewhere. How can I be of service? Oh, you have found the pouch in the campsite? Wow, it contains a small portion of halfling's pipeweed. It may be that one of the halflings or the dwarf dropped this, but such carelessness could be our undoing, yeah. Might you spare a moment of your time? Alright, well, that's to go to the next area, so I'm not going to take that quest for the moment. Hello there, I killed some trees for you. The sorrows of the Eldar. It pays me to put these creatures of force to the sword, but the power of the enemy has made it necessary. Against this corruption, there is little defense. Do you hear my sorrows? Kill trolls. Mm. You mean kill the trolls? Well, I might just pass that one by, but who knows, I may wind up going against them. Oh. Mind my I am afraid that your efforts to the south will not be enough to repel the corruption of the enemy has brought to Gladard. The evil has gone too deep. In order to repair the damage that our enemies have brought about, we will need to replant the holly trees that have been devastated by the trolls and their foul ways. Journey south to the forest and find holly seeds from the bushes that grow beneath the trees there. Alright, fine. Holly seeds. Now, is that everything? Right, was this? Stay a moment. Oh, uh, that's right, that's the one I passed up for there. I think there are a few more quests because we've got the quest givers up here that we still haven't spoken. There are a number of quests that I turned in during this first round. We weren't there. Well, let's turn this one in. You have done well, Pinecut, for now the half-orcs have been thwarted. Thank goodness. Might you spare a moment of your time? Now, find there. Now, you have dealt with the half-orc rabble the, to the northern Aragian, but their true purpose is only the beginning to come clear. Recently, our scouts have indicated that a half-orc of some skill in training of the worms is attempting to bend his vile beast to his will. Oh, boy, so find this... Argzak and search his body for any information it may have. All right, if you say so. Hello there, I've killed some birds for you. Oh, well done. That should limit the White Hand's ability to gather knowledge of our forces from here. With their numbers 
Weakened by our efforts, we have an opportunity to strike a decisive blow against their tenuous foothold in Eregion. Oh, good. You have thinned the number of Corbain in the area, but unfortunately, more will return to replace the ones you killed. In order to drive them out entirely, you will need to remove their means to rest and shelter. They undoubtedly have found a large tree to the roost in. As much as I despise the thought, you'll go and burn the... Destroy the... Now, do you know how little that makes sense? I mean, destroy one tree in all of Oregon and that keep them out. Wouldn't they find a new resting tree? Just saying... Oh, this is a strange axe you brought. You say it was carried by one of the Dunlendings nearby? This axe is of a quality not normally known by these brigands and bodes ill. It seems that what should normally be an independent force has organized someone else's under someone else's banner. Good. Lend me your ear. Uh could you collect more of these axes for me? Eh. Alright. Fifteen axes. Axes and you shall receive. Very well, but the main thing I want to do, of course, is to go out and find some of these wargs. So I think that's the most important thing to do. So we do want... I'm not going to worry about the seeds for the moment. We may worry about that later. The roosting tree will worry about dunlending axes, yes, but the main thing I want to do is to find those wargs. And those wolves are way to the north, so that's where I'll meet you. I am here in Worm Country rather than in Warg Country because I figure if I'm on the way, I might as well see if I could find this worm sire. No, it's just a regular worm. But we might as well help to reduce their population a little bit. So, so that they won't be bugging our supply trains. There we go. That's that one's down. Next, uh, we're going to have these things coming in all our way, aren't we? But we have two quests over here, and might as well take care of them while we're here. If I can hit this thing, yeah, like that. So, where is the? Worm Sire. Maybe in this cave, because we have a couple of caves here and there. Sometimes it's in the first one I see, and sometimes it takes a little while. Uh. Oh, here it is. Right here. How about this one? Clawing Rock Worm. Alright, still not the one I'm looking for. This is not the worm you're looking for. Yeah, and we also have the half orc to deal with. All right. So let's head up here because I think the half orc then is up here. He's at least more reliable to find. He'll always be up there, and of course, his friend, the worm there, that invariably is with him. So, uh, let us go in and fight. Yeah, this thing is nasty. I think this is a good time for... for using controlled burn, which I keep on forgetting to use. Oh boy, he, he's tough. Maybe I should have gone after the worm first, but I think he might heal the worm or something like that, or at least. Okay, I got his note at least, so therefore, even if things go south, uh, I should be able to have. be able to at least have made it through. And there you go, and. whew! <laughs> Alright, well, that's dealt with. Oh, I skipped by this thing. Probably just as well that I did. Let me get my morale back up. And now let's see if this is the one with the worm sire. Clawing rock worm. Okay. 
The Father of Worms is out today. If you'd like to leave a message, um, please press 1. If you would like to battle with him, press 2. If you would like to die to his hungry jaws, press 3. What? There's only a 3 on your phone? Oh, how inconvenient. Ah, oh, Brunak Wormsire, yay! Okay, there you go. Aha! You were hiding from me last time. So, let's say I, I hit four if you want to spar with them and... And try to live. Alright, there you go. Okay, fine. Brunak is down. Good. The Worm Keeper's down. Wormsire's down. Now, where are those wargs? Ah, a warg. Just what I'm just looking for. I just need to kill, well, I was going to say 10 more of these, but I suspect I need a few more than 10 if I'm going to be able to complete all of this. Yeah. Fighting wargs can get annoying, though. Cripple, 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 cripple. So I'll just have to wait nine seconds bef between combat and watch them disappear. Good. Now, we'll see how many of these I can find. Now, unfortunately, that one apparently did not have any splintered claws. So, yes, it's going to be a lot more than nine wargs that I'm going to have to kill for this. I have managed to get 19 of the claws. So maybe I can get number 20 and be done with this. I've been all through Oregon and I've gotten all the way to the other end. And yes, 20 of 20. These guys seem to have a better drop rate than the ones I started out with. But they're also slightly higher level. So I presume that's fair. Well, I have all the ones I need there, so I think the best thing for me to do is to head back to camp and turn in these components and see what else they want me to do. I am back with the items now. What exactly did we need these things for? What can I do for you? Well done! Only one set of components remains, and acquiring these would be your greatest challenge. I need you to obtain one of the bloodstained tally sticks of fearsome orcs of Grishgrum, Kurzu, and Diffram used to record their kills. As well, I need to acquire the insignia of battle of the Uruks, Sorodok, and Birdsfield. All of them may be found in Uregarth. I can't get to Uregarth. Fortunately, most fortunately, of course, I really already have them because the auction house became rather useful for those. In fact, I found the major components in the auction house a lot easier to find than the minor ones. Apparently, minor ones are hit and miss in getting them. Major ones, wait a couple of days and they usually pop up, probably because they're individual. I knew you would return. And with the final components I need. I didn't even leave! I give you the price of equipment worthy of your skills. Let's see. Worthy of my skills are going to the auction house, apparently. And... Let's see. A necklace with 29 might. That looks nice. And, or a bracelet with 29. So which is better for me? Relative to what I've already got. I think I will take the bracelet. And I think I'll take a level too. Alright, let's get this bracelet up here. Uh, let's see. Up here. Okay, good. And make sure I took off the right one. Good. Alright. Now, I also have these other things. Uh, the. Right. I'm glad to see you again. Ooh, well, I I've been standing here for the last couple of minutes. Uh, these components will greatly improve your weapon I'm making for you. I hope so. Now seek out the vile Drake Lilgren and obtain her 
from her a flawless skill. I'm not too sure she'd be happy about that. I don't think she goes around selling her flawless skills all that much. And also acquire me a sigil of war. Actually, now I think of it, maybe if a flawless scale fell off, though how flawless scale fells off, I don't know, because I would think it would be flawed in some way before it does that. But if it does that, maybe she would sell them in order to get more gold, but not if they're going to make weapons out of them. Definitely not. All right, done. Yes, I have been to Urgrud since the last time we talked, right? J j just ten seconds ago. <laughs> Your turn victorious! Yay! Alright, what, what do you want? The axe, which is a two-handed weapon, or the... Alright, let's take the sword. Good. Good. Alright, done? We're all done? Yes. I would like to take a moment to congratulate you on your achievements uh, of being able to use the auction house, I guess. Uh, you have accomplished what many, many brave deeds of buying things from the auction house. And I marvel at your dedication. You are a mighty champion and a fair user of the auction house. Yes, a company of dwarves visited in Vladris not long ago, and another of champions traveled with them. They are now staying at the outposts of the Mythian Mountains north of the Vale. One of them might be able to advise you, for you have exceeded the teaching that I can provide. Talk to Gimli in Rivendell. Right, okay. Talk to Gimli and tell him of my mighty heroic feats in the auction house. Hello there, Gimli. I've been asked to speak with you to get some tips on becoming a better champion. My advice? Delete your character. Oh, oh well. Uh, okay. Maybe not becoming the best champion then. <laughs> <laughs> if let me pine cut, there are some would say that I am a champion among dwarves, but certainly I would not do so. Not so boldly. <laughs> the trick to combat my friend is to give it everything you've got. There are no half measures. Not in battle and not ever. If you swing your axe as though every swing were your last, you'll be a real force. I understand that you're a mighty champion yourself, and I applaud you. You obviously never seen me play if you think I'm a mighty champion, but that's beside the point. Uh, you'll do fine in the times that lie ahead, I'm sure of it, until we meet again. All right, I get a class trait point. Yay! Well, that's done. Oh, one more thing. You're not a champion in the auction house unless you sell stuff. <sighs> well, I'll never win that one either. Well, that's it for today. We'll see you next time where I really will be in for hell in the next episode of Piney Plays The Champion.